Hello everyone and welcome back to your piano lesson. If you are here for the first time, I am Gianluca Fronda, pianist, composer, piano and composition teacher. If you want to discover interesting facts about me, you can watch the introduction video of the channel. I'm leaving the link below in the description, where you will find also the link for my artistic channel in case you are interested in original music and covers. Going back to the Piano Lessons to Go channel, don't forget to subscribe and to share also with your friends if there is anybody that is interested in piano music. Let me know also about yourself when you started studying your experience. Now time to go to our lesson. Same as last week, um, I have decided to change the direction and to publish tutorials regarding contemporary piano music. And last week I published a few tutorials regarding one piece by Ludovico Einaudi, it was I Giorni. Today I'm publishing two more tutorials regarding Ludovico Einaudi and today is about Primavera. If you were directed here because you landed on the advanced tutorial, you are getting in this video the explanation of Primavera taken from these graded pieces for piano by Ludovico Einaudi. If you're landing on this video uh, and you're looking for the advanced version of Primavera, you have to refer to the link that is in the description of this video where you will get the explanation of Primavera as played following the official version from the official album by Ludovico Einaudi and where I explained also the main difference in between the version published on the grade 4 piano solos and the official one. Now let's go straight to the one that we have to play in this tutorial. We are on page 30 of this book. Let's also read um, the, um, the explanation, the guided exercises. So this book, uh, you know, uh, that is for preparatory grade 1 and grade 2 levels. I, I would say that this one it's, um, might be grade 1 level, definitely. Yeah? We don't have anything in the key signature where in the original one we had three flats, and let's indeed talk about the, the explanation. Is, uh, suggesting, the book is suggesting you to uh, stamp at the beginning of the bar and then bring in the right hand quavers immediately afterwards. So, we do. The notes are A, D, um, that's all, just two notes. We're in 3, 4, it should be. Refer to the speeds from 110 and 132, so you simply turn on the metronome at 110. To clarify, 1 and 2 and 3 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 1 and 2 and 3 and, and 2 and 3 and, and then you raise step by step as soon as you find it easy up to 132. Next one is saying, the left hand has many quavers to play in this piece. They should flow as smoothly as possible, no the slight change of end position, in the third bar. So the speed should be the same. We are in the bass clef. The notes are... You do the same, you play the first time at 110. Step by step you raise the speed up to 132. The last one, here the right hand needs to soar above the busy left hand, try to project this melody line clearly. Also ensure you bring out the changing bass notes towards the end of the phrase, but avoid accenting them too strongly. So, same story, the speed has to be the same identical, 110 at the beginning. And we can do. many times until you are not ready to play then at uh, 132, so um, push up the metronome. Now the final version, I will try to play at 132.
So I hope it's uh, um, clear enough what has to be done. It's not complicated at all. There are just few patterns that are repeated, the small few changes that you have sometime in the left and the right. I invite you to study first of all this version, but then give it a try maybe to the intermediate, let's say, version, the one on the grade, uh, from the grade for piano solos, and then why not, also the final one, if you like this music. It's minimalistic music, music that is using just few elements. Uh, feel free to comment, let me know how things are going, if you have enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have enjoyed also the official recording, the official video published on my artistic channel. If it's the first time you're landing on my channel, thanks to this video. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one. All the best, bye bye.